but it, like I remember Space Jam One. This is way off topic. Space Jam One. Bill Murray was doing these weird commercials. Like, do you remember that? Were you yes. There? Yeah, doing these very weird commercials, just bouncing a basketball, going down the street. You had no idea what Bill Murray was talking about. And then all of a sudden, he's in Space Jam. Like, in Space Jam 2, you put all your eggs in a basket with the Young Bucks and Omega, like the Elite. It made no sense. Like, this is how bad this movie is. Plus, <laughs> LeBron James sucks and is one of the worst basketball players in the history of basketball versus the guys that are in front. That's the most ridiculous thing you've ever said. What? LeBron James, there's no way you can sit there as a man and tell me you genuinely think LeBron James is one of the worst basketball players of all time. I'd say he's top 50, but not one spot before. I put you can James think, you can think of 49 above. other people that can outplay LeBron one-on-one in professional basketball. Magic Johnson, uh, Larry Bird, Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan. I'd say um, uh, what's four. The you've yeah, got to, you've got to do that eleven more times. Uh, okay, uh, uh, the guys from Utah. I'd say Chris Mullen. I'd say um, <laughs> that's the dumbest hot take I've ever. You put Chris Mullen ahead of LeBron James is the greatest. Yes, I put Chris Mullen above LeBron James. Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant. Um, I pretty much say the entire dream team, the first dream team in '94. Uh, other than you were other close. than uh, I'll give you that. '94 wasn't the dream team, but the '94 was it was '92. It was in Barcelona. Yeah. I'd say anybody on that dream team, 92, other than um, what's Leitner? Christian Leitner? Yeah. When was the last time a college player played for Team USA, too? I don't know. And it was supposed to be Shaq, but actually it was supposed to be um, uh, Detroit. I don't know. Isaiah. It was Isaiah, supposed to be Isaiah Thomas? Yeah, it was supposed to be Isaiah Thomas, but um, – Jordan said no. Yeah, Jordan put a, a hit on that. We all know Isaiah got cut from the Dream Team because of Jordan. Um, yeah. One, I'm, okay, I'll give you this. I'm impressed that you rattled off that many NBA players. But two, I feel like if you take a look at statistics, and I know you're not a big statistics guy, and you're going to be like, that doesn't make a difference. But uh, I'm not a Le- I'm not a LeBron James fan. Let me let me preface this by saying that I 100 percent believe, without a doubt that Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player to ever play the game. 100%. He's the GOAT. LeBron James is my in my top five of all time. For you to say that you can think of 49 other NBA players that are better than LeBron, I feel like all you're doing is saying hot takes for the sake of making hot takes. You're being a villainous hill trying to get people to come at you for the sake of getting people to come at you. You can't genuinely think that there are 50 other players better than them. That's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, um, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. They're so like so many different aspects of the game. Um, like I can't say Jordan's the best. Jordan okay. is a definite, like, Shot caller, boom, you throw the Jordan. Who's the greatest basketball? Bobby, just tell me who's the greatest NBA player of all time. Let's just cut to the chase then. I, if top 50, you got LeBron's 50. Who's number one? Who is? Magic Johnson. I think Magic's one. I think Kobe's two. I think Larry Bird is three. Um, yeah, that's my list. Magic had triple doubles nonstop. Uh, Bird, same thing. Kobe, he was a little bit more of a ball hog, but I think Kobe was there. I think Jordan was number four. You grew up in Florida. Um, what was your favorite NBA team growing up? You grew up probably watching, what, Penny Hardaway? Did what? Penny Hardaway, Orlando. Orlando, um, yeah. Yeah, I grew up watching that. Miami Heat, uh, Orlando Magic. Um, Miami Heat sucked for a long time. They sucked forever until LeBron got – I guess, no, I take that back. They won their first title in 2006, I think. Yeah, it was Shaq. 
yeah, Shaq and Dwayne Wade. Shaq came in as a piece to that puzzle, though. Dwayne Wade was already ready to win a championship. They just needed one more piece to do so. Yeah, well, Shaq got drafted to Orlando, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He played with Orlando forever. And then he went to the Lakers, and then he pretty much did the uh, the uniform rainbow, and he played for, like, ten different teams at the end of his career. Show me the money. Yeah, I mean, he played for anybody that would sign him a contract. He played yeah, in Phoenix. He, played, I mean, he even played for Boston at one point. I'm a lifelong Celtics fan. And I was like, Shaq plays for the Celtics? Like, why? Like, why is that a thing? He played at the same time Nate Robinson was on the Celtics. That's right, yeah. Like, wasn't that his last season? Uh, I think after he played for the Celtics, I think he played one more year because he had a two-year contract with the Seas, and then he went on and uh, pulled it up. Let's uh, – we are way <laughs> off topic. Okay, let's go fully back around. Let's go Dean out. Ambrose. <laughs> yeah, we, we for, completely <laughs> forgot about Dean Ambrose. Let's go back there. Uh, good old John Moxley. Uh, 